Alabama's weather warming up in a big way this week. Some spots touched 80 in West Alabama today. Earlier, Utah hit 80. It's currently 78 there. 77 for Centerville, 76 degrees in Tuscaloosa, Birmingham at 70. 60s north and east of Birmingham because the cloud cover there was more persistent today. Had some showers this morning. Those are basically off the radar. Nothing happening this evening. The chance of rain will be very small tonight and tomorrow. The big story up north, though, it's snow and cold. This is a major, major disruptive winter storm for the western and northern states. We've got winter storm warnings. We have blizzard warnings. Some folks up here will see two feet of snow over the next couple of days, but the upper winds will not allow that cold air to drop south. Temperatures here will likely stay above average for the next couple of weeks. Tomorrow will be close to 80, and we're expecting low 80s by Thursday, the first time we've seen 80 since November. The record for Birmingham on Thursday, 83, set in 2018, will be really close to that. And again, a few spotty showers, maybe a better chance by Friday with that front sagging south. Friday will be a noticeably cooler day. Overnight tonight, the sky mostly cloudy will be in the low and mid 60s, basically all light long. This is Future View. This is the hour by hour forecast. Again, tonight, the sky mostly cloudy. Lows tomorrow morning will likely be in the 60s, very mild. During the day, we'll have clouds as the day begins, the sky becoming partially sunny by afternoon afternoon and again some spots touching 80 for the first time since November. Here's a look at our 10 day forecast. We're forecasting 82 on Thursday with only a small chance of a shower. Noticeably cooler Friday, the high dropping to 64 for the weekend. A few scattered showers around on Saturday and Sunday. Nothing too widespread, but the weather stays fairly mild. 70 on Saturday, 75 degrees on Sunday. There is a chance we could see some stronger storms late Monday and Monday night of next week, followed by drier air by Tuesday and Wednesday.